We're the best. We're the beautiful. We're the only. Hold fast, Marine. We're back. Yes, we're back. Something strange going on. Something's wrong. Room in the room. Outside is the storm. All alone. Certified check. Watch cash or money order. Yo, is that what I did? Did I see something move? Chilled on his mind. The heart goes with fright. Not filled by the things that go up in the night. Walk through the wall. With no time to stall, you call the Ghostbusters! All right, everybody, we are back. Now, I know I've been gone for a couple of months now, and I feel that you guys have the right to know why. Uh, first off, uh, at the end of February, uh, my mother died. And then about two, three weeks after that, uh, my wife and I had to put down our 11-year-old English bulldog. So... I had a lot of customer projects going on at the shop and I really didn't feel like I was in the mood uh, for filming. Um, but it has been a while now and we are back at things and filming has resumed. And I can't tell you guys enough how excited I am to be back filming. So today's video, folks, I don't want to go ahead and say you don't want to miss it, but you don't want to miss it. Um, we're going to be getting into restoring a sunfish sailboat and what i mean by restoring is is that we're going to strip the hull we're going to uh, re-gel coat that then we're going to flip the boat over sand the top side and then we're going to paint that with some alexial yacht coatings now when i started filming this video because i always shoot my intros last i thought this was going to be a straightforward clean it sand it ready to go but folks let me tell you something this turned into a little bit of a nightmare i actually found myself having to strip old crap paint off of this stupid boat so I think this is going to be a really good video for you guys to A, not expect things to go the way that you want them to, and B, how to think outside the box to get it done without having to wait to order things or run down to your local hardware store, just using the stuff that you have available to you. All right, well, without any further ado, boys and girls, let's get started. I have eight of these sunfish sailboats that were dropped off here at the shop from Mass Audubon. And we're going to be doing two different things. We're going to be doing some gel coat on the uh, bottoms and we're going to be doing some paint on the top. We're going to be using our total boat gel coat without wax and gel coat with wax for these hulls. And then the top sides, we're going to be using Alexial Yacht Coatings. Oh yes. I have some really nice paint and we're gonna spray it. I'm gonna show you guys how to spray paint. Okay, first things first. We gotta get all of this, obviously this disgustingness off of these boats. Now there's two ways that we can do this. One way that you're gonna wanna do outdoors and then the other way that you could do indoors, which is what we're gonna do. But I wanna show you the first way that I would recommend getting rid of this stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some gloves on because I wanna show you guys some stuff. And we're gonna be using this product right here, on off. And as the name implies, you put it on and it takes whatever you put it on off. Now folks, I gotta tell you, this stuff is horribly toxic. If you're not wearing a respirator when you're using this, chances are, well, you're gonna have some issues. <clears throat> I myself am not gonna be wearing a respirator because I, well, I, I don't care. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll hear me coughing here in a second. Now, the way that I like to apply the on-off is with a brush, and I'm going to just go ahead and paint some on here, and you're gonna see it's gonna start changing color almost immediately. Trying very hard not to breathe all this in. Okay, I've let this sit for about 10 minutes, and I'm going to grab some simple green here. Which is a mixture of simple green and water. And the water will help dilute this. 
I get a rag. Well, would you guys look at that? It would appear here that somebody painted this boat with some kind of spray paint or roll-on paint. Well, that just made this video a lot more interesting. Now that I've run into this issue of this being painted, and the more I look at it, the more I can see how awful of a job these people did. The only way to really get to this is to sand it all off, um, which is my preferred method for getting rid of this if we're re-gel coating. Um, you saw the on-off. That stuff works great, but again, it's toxic. Um, and I'll show you how fast we can sand this off. I'm going to be using my trusty Festool RO150. Um, this is the elite of sanders. Uh, for boats. I mean, there's, if you have a, a Dremel or a, a DeWalt or whatever, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But as far as uh, sanders go, this is it because it has its Rotex mode, which allows us to spin in a circular motion as opposed to a random orbital pattern. Um, I'm going to switch the vacuum on here and we're going to sand a bit of this so I can show you kind of how quickly you can take this stuff off. Well, <laughs> this project is about to go up, if you know what I mean. So here's what I just found out. Whatever they painted this with is a latex paint. Because it is just gumming up everything. You can see here. Which is good for you guys because I'm going to teach you something else, um, but bad for me because I need to get these done. So let me get a couple things and we will figure this out together. Well, I went ahead and did a quick little heat test uh, with the heat gun to see how easy it would be to get this off. And you can see this is a, one of the little pieces that came off there. It's like taffy. Um, which leads me to believe that this is not a marine grade paint. It is in fact a latex uh, or oil based paint. And uh, upon further inspection of the boat, it's everywhere. I mean, all of this is some kind of shitty paint. So unfortunately, it looks like this is going to be a chemical strip. Um, I don't like using chemical strippers. I never have, but I've got some and we're going to see what we can do with that. And I'm back. All right, let's show you what I've gotten done here. Take you guys with me. Now, this is not a preferred way to do this, but I need to get this done or at least started. My go-to paint stripper is obviously from Total Boat. Uh, the stuff works really good and I really like it, uh, but I don't have any and I don't have the time to wait for it to show up. So I'm going to order some uh, as soon as I'm done filming this video. But there is something you can do in the meantime, and that is to use the chemical of all chemicals, xylene. Oh, yes. So what I've done here is I have placed a rag. Oh, I've placed a rag here, thusly, and I have soaked the saturated it with xylene. And underneath here, here's our paint. And you can see it's coming right off. So I can come in here with a little scraper and sort of get it mostly scraped off. The thing about xylene is, is that it's so bad for you. And, <laughs> and uh, try and get some of the stuff off. It just kind of wipes away, sort of. This is another one of those, you know, Wear a respirator things.
so I've got this entire side of the hull rough sanded down with 80 grit. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. Now this is a good place to end this video. I guess the moral of this video is to remember that not everything is gonna to go to plan how you think it's gonna to go to plan. And that's how I do my videos here. They are as it happens. There's no pre-production, there's no during production. There is quite a bit of post-production, but what you see is what you get here. So if you guys have enjoyed this part one video, please subscribe, please hit that bell notification, please leave a comment, please like the video, please check out the Patreon, please, 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 please. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.